Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be using our Ninja Creamy Deluxe to make fresh pineapple sorbet. So you ready? Let's get into this. This is gonna be a simple recipe. All you need to make this is fresh pineapple. You can use canned pineapple for this if you want, but it's gonna come out a little bit nicer with the fresh stuff. A little bit of lemon juice and some monk fruit sweetener. Keep in mind that if you'd like to try out this recipe, all the ingredients and measurements are down in the description of the video, along with the calorie count, the protein, the fat, and the carbs. The first thing we need to do is prep our pineapple. So we're gonna cut the top off about a quarter inch from the top here. Just like that. We'll swing it around, and we'll cut about a quarter to a half inch off the bottom as well. Next, we're gonna turn this upright and we'll cut all the skin off. We wanna keep the blade close to the edge to save as much of the pineapple as we can. But keep in mind, we don't want any of the skin on there and we're gonna to have to cut out the little eyes and stuff too. So be sure to cut off enough to where that's not gonna be something that occupies you the rest of the night. Keep in mind, this is kind of a curved shape, so you're gonna to wanna to follow that shape down. So we'll go ahead and cut all this off. After you've cut off the skin initially, you may have some parts of it here where you can still see a little bit of green. You're gonna to wanna to slice those off too. So you can just go back around and that's probably gonna be on the sharp edges here. So if you just cut down around on all of those, you should get most of it. Next, we need to get all of these little eyes out. And there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can use a small knife and cut them out like this if you're careful. That can be a little bit tedious and also you run the risk of cutting yourself with your knife if you're not careful. Another thing that you can do that works pretty well and is a little bit safer is you can use a little half teaspoon or even a quarter teaspoon if you got one that small. And all you gotta do is line it up right next to the eye, push that into the pineapple and just kind of turn it around and you can pop that right out just like that. That's a little bit safer and some people might be a little bit more comfortable with that as well. Also, if you have an old school potato peeler, you can use the end of that as well. We're just gonna go ahead and use our knife and get all these cut out. Also, if you don't mind a little bit of waste and you need to save some time, you can just line up all these eyelets here, use your knife and just cut a little bit more surface off and you should be able to get them all off, just like that. Keep in mind if you do that though, you're gonna be wasting a little bit of pineapple. Okay, once you get that done, you need to cut this down and the piece is small enough to work with. So if you look at the top of this, you can see the core right here. It may not line up exactly in the middle, but we're gonna have to work with it wherever it is because that needs to be cut out. So keeping that centered, we'll go ahead and cut this thing right down the middle. And once it's halved, you can still see where that core is here. So we'll cut down the middle of that again. And then one more time again. Now you should have a bunch of pie shaped pieces like this. And they all still have a little piece of this core here. So we're gonna cut all of these off right along the line of the meat. And once you have that done, we can dice these into smaller pieces. Once you have that finished, take a medium mixing bowl, throw in your pineapples, throw in your monk fruit sweetener, and your lemon juice. Keep in mind the amount of sweetener you use is gonna be based upon how sweet your pineapple already is. If they're in season and you got a nice sweet one, you don't need as much of this at all. So we'll go ahead and stir this up to get everything evenly distributed. We'll grab our creamy pint, and we're gonna fill our pineapple mix in here up until you get to the scoopable max fill line right there. If you can fill it up a little bit too much, don't worry because we're gonna be squishing these down anyway. Now we're either gonna use a spoon or the bottom of a ladle to squish this down as much as we can. You'll go ahead and use the bottom curved portion of this on here and just kind of squish this down as much as you can here. Don't worry if you're smashing up the pineapples, that's what we wanna do. Once you've got that smushed down a little bit, just add a little bit more pineapple to the mix here. Don't add too much at once because we want to make sure that at the end of the day, 
that it does get squished down past that line. And we don't want to throw so much into that we can't compress it down that far. Hey, by the way, if this is your first time here and you want to learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. So it looks like we're good to go. Just kind of squish this stuff around and try to get this as level as you possibly can. So now we can put the lid on our creamy pint and we'll throw this in the freezer for 24 hours. Just be sure to keep this on as level a surface as you can. The next day. Let's get this out of here. And you'll be able to tell if this is ready because the entire surface here is going to be sort of light colored. If there's any really dark spots on here, those are parts that aren't frozen through yet. So in that case, you wouldn't be done yet. But in this case, we are. So we can pull off this lid, put your creamy pint into the pitcher, make sure it sets in there into the slots, throw on your lid, lock it closed, slide your pitcher into the machine and lock it into place, and then go ahead and turn on your creamy. If you want to process the entire pint, we're going to use the full button. And if you just want to do half of it, we're going to use the top button. In our case, we're going to do the entire thing. So we're going to hit full, turn the dial here over to sorbet, and we can go ahead and start it up. Now that that's finished, we'll go ahead and pop this off and check out the results. Denied. Okay, with this, you can see it's a tiny bit granular. And that's something that happens with the Ninja Creamy sometimes. That normally happens because your freezer might be a little bit on the cold side. The way you can get around that is you can let these pints sit out for about 20 minutes or so before you process them. Or if you haven't done that and you're at the same step we are, we can fix this by adding a tiny bit more lemon juice, just a little bit. Throwing the lid back on and we're going to re-spin this. Once we get this back into the machine, we're going to go ahead and select full again. And this time we're just going to hit re-spin. So we'll see how this works. After that re-spin, we can go ahead and check this out again. And look how much better that looked. Now all we got to do is serve this thing up. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about Joe's Phenomenal, you can watch a couple more videos or you can check us out online at joesphenomenal.com. What did I tell you? Super easy. Probably the easiest thing you can make with your Ninja Creamy. If you'd like some more information about the Ninja Creamy Deluxe that we used in this video, we do have an Amazon affiliate link to it down in the description of the video. If you buy anything through those links, we do make a small commission, but it doesn't change the price that you pay one cent. I thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your busy day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me and I can't wait to see you back again here really soon. So until that time, I'm Joe and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.